And welcome, Tiny Meat Nationers, to your very first Tiny Meat podcast. Today we're going to be discussing the political climate in TMG post and pre elections and the controversy surrounding such. Nick, do you have anything you want to add? No, 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 no. So, prior to the election of the president for Tiny Meat Nation in 2020, there was some controversy surrounding the in, uh, inclusion of females as citizens in the nation, but by executive order of the former president himself, females are now allowed to have citizenship despite being meatless. Now, as we all know, the prerequisite for being uh, a citizen in Tiny Meat Nation is to have a penis of at least two inches. No greater than three. Wrong. Wrong. It's one to one three. Dumb, dumb ass. Correction. Well, that's great. Our current president doesn't even know. Okay, look. I'm a founding father of this fucking discord in this nation, okay? Yeah, don't even fucking I've been here so long. Him. I've been here so long. Don't I haven't... Even Tyler, you have became... An, a you, Tyler, you're bordering, you're bordering on losing your citizenship. Maybe you should take it easy. Yeah. Think about that one. You're talking to your fucking president right now, okay? I don't have time for your nonsense. After your claims that the entirety of the government was not only corrupt, but going against its own constitution, of which there is none, so you're wrong on both accounts, you accused not only the government, but the great people of having rigged the election against you. Uh, an election that occurred after the presidency, of course. Of course, where Nick, after two terms in office, was, um... Had, uh, had, had, he had, um, well, he ran out his terms, and I, in a, sorry, of guess, vote against Gordon, won the election, of which was accused of being rigged by Gordon himself. I decided to be impartial in the election that took place between you and the current senator, Mirth. I know, I can feel your chagrin at me saying that. However, it was a fair election. Now, needless to say, I think that it may be just a little bit ridiculous for you to have anything to say about the corruption of TMG when you yourself demanded monarchy over democracy. What do you have to say for yourself? among these not only allegations but proven words witnessed by yours truly and the accompanying party nothing to say of course who could have predicted it tyler with nothing to say hello somebody stupid <laughs> If you're there, please answer. I cannot. Please. The door is locked on the other side. Take this key. Please, please open it for me. I cannot believe that I have to share a nation with somebody whose own values go so far in the opposite direction of democracy that it borders on treason. Borders. You are in thin ice. You are so close to the precipice. You are at the threshold, Tyler. I would hold your tongue from now on, considering politics. What the hell is this? Well, somebody needs to talk. This is a podcast, after all. You have nothing to say for yourself? No one here was cons con consented. Look, no one has to consent. I'm the president. I make executive decisions on the fly.
I would like to let you know that you smell like rotten tomato potato. <laughs> You, my friend, are right at the verge of losing everything you fought to achieve in this life. Everything. I did not fight for anything. I was gifted and handed and granted everything. You will be granted murder. Arrest him. Arrest him. Arrest this scumbag right now. What did you just say, Tyler? Oh, nothing. What did he say, Nick? He said murder. He threatened to kill me. You threatened- I said no such thing. You threatened to assassinate a former president of this nation? No. You know, he still has some form of legitimacy, despite the lack of an Oval Office. You will respect him for what he was. I don't have to respect anybody. That is not part of TMG. Let me tell you what TMG is about, Tyler. TMG is about respect. And if you can't respect us, it's obvious you don't respect yourself. You know, I don't like yourself. how you come in and you're elected president and you're just starting to change everything and interpret What have I changed? Like, what have I changed? Name one thing I have changed. Name one thing. Name argument. one thing I have changed. Everything. Anyone with tiny meat should have respect for others with tiny meat. This is a fact. And if you cannot respect others with tiny meat, then that's a damn shame, Tyler. That's a damn shame. And you're showing all the symptoms of somebody who does not respect tiny meat. A true shame. A thousand plagues upon your family. You know what? You just keep acting like Pelosi. Just keep on acting like her. Look, this is Tiny Meat Nation. We don't bring foreign politics into this. I bet you he is a Washington sleeper agent. He might be, for all we know. He could very well be. We will remember this, Tyler. Even after you have forgotten. Even after you would forget. We will remember. I don't have to remember jack shit. All I know is that our former president rigged your coming into this. Rigged president. the and audacity rigged, on this rigged, individual. Absolutely rigged the senator system. How is it rigged? Oh, because you lost? Is that why it's rigged? It's not because I'm lo I lost. It is because people who were not allowed to be TMG through some presidential fucking enactment now suddenly are. Look, we already made one female a citizen in the past. And if we're willing to go that far, we might as well allow any female who feels they have the right to be a citizen as a citizen. Women as long as they can... Rights. I they can't even are believe inferior... what's coming out of your mouth right now. Species. Mirth doesn't have rights then. Is that is that what you think? That is what I know. Well, she's a fucking senator. And you are not. That is because our former president ensured she could become a senator. He rigged the election in her favor. Who even fucking voted for her? More people than you. He's got you there. He's got you by the balls. That was fucked up. Well, Tyler, if you were half as smart as me, you'd be able to deduce who voted for her based on the numbers that were given to you. Half. Shit unfortunately, fucker. Unfortunately, you do not hold the distinction of having much intelligence in this community. It's a good thing that the game volume's louder than you because I can't hear you. Oh, look, I've struck a nerve. You struck a nerve when you were fucking allowed to exist in this world and your mother didn't throw herself down a flight of stairs. This is funny coming from the guy who claims to be anti- Boston! Oh god! 
<laughs> How does that go again? Anti-abortion. Jesus Christ. That was scary. That was fear. <laughs> great amount of fear and panic and you are uh, you are witness you bore witness to such things in abundance okay don't you be fucking with Tali like that I don't know who you think you are so as you can see my great citizens and the viewers of this very special public broadcast of Tiny Meat Matters. You can see that we lead a very stable nation with only stable. one dissenter. One! One man who dissents against the current you system. Know. Who will never overthrow our, not even just attempts, but our great successes remember, at democracy. Remember the you will. Of November, the gunpowder treason. Are you insinuating that you're going to hold a rebellion? No, I am suggesting that you have incited your own demise by allowing former improbable TMG people to become senators. It is downhill from here. May I remind you of all the other discord she has slowly taken over as time has gone on? And you think that's going to happen here? Look, we lead a yes, very different system here, Tyler. other people didn't think it was going to happen to them. We lead a very different system here, Tyler. We do. And nothing can ever change that. Tyler, if she was to become the leader of TMG, it would be the spoken will of its people. It would be a terrifying thing, and this would become a sex discord. She would rewrite everything as she saw fit, like she has done when countless discords passed. Unfortunately, I do not believe she has the, uh, well, I say fortunately, she does not have the power to single-handedly reshape TMG into an entirely new Discord. She is taking... You have given her the first steps. Could we not make that same argument for you, then? He's got a point, Tyler. You've been very adamant in your love for all things HDD and Triple C. I will tell you one thing, Tyler. Continue to plague our ears with disgusting thoughts and words relating to such things. Keep pressing that envelope, and there may be punishment handed down. Well, he is technically entitled to free speech, but... Are we gonna suddenly change that, too? There's a constitutional right. We already had this discussion in the past. I don't remember what case prompted it, but... I have a feeling Rick was involved for some reason. I just want it to be noted that when things start to fucking fall apart because she was oh, in a position of power. Oh, you son of a bitch. I told you so. Things won't fall apart, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Because as long as Nick, and only Nick, retains the ability to invite people to this Discord, we will not fall. We stand strong, we stand in unity. We stand together. So it's like Nick is the permanent president all the time. 
No, members of government can invite people. Renegade invited his friend earlier without... Oh, I thought my... that was you. No. So I can invite people? Yeah, I believe so, yes. It should be. Well, the point being... Yeah, you can. You invited Quinn on your own. Oh, yeah, you're right. I did, didn't I? Quinn being myself, for anybody watching. Or should I say, listening. This is something Quinn, you should really be doing. That is an to. account made to represent Quinn, but Quinn is a real, living, breathing person. And holds great respect for he holds an office, although subordinate to mine. Well, anyway, this has been a heated discussion on the political climate of the Tiny Meat Nation and the citizens therein and their decisions. And as you can see, we clearly have one bad egg in the bunch. So tune in next time for more updates, and uh, I will see you later.